axle, selco, toe loop, loop, lutz, and flip. Six words that you know very, very well, but which jump you can't really tell. It seems like a mystery when the narrator says them. It is so mystical when a skater does them. Where is the difference and how can you tell which is which? They all look the same, actually. The truth is that they don't. And this video will help you crack this secret code. Hello, figure skating fans. Welcome to Have a Nice Day. This is a figure skating channel that has a lot of content in Spanish and the occasional video in English. I am Pau Diaz. I am an adult figure skater. I've also been a coach and I am an absolute passionate fan for the sport. So I wanted to make this video and share it with you guys in English because I've noticed that a lot of videos explain this kind of thing and even though they do it very well and according to the rules maybe the way that it is explained is not very clear for people who are new to the sport who have or those who have never figure skated before even though I'm a figure skater myself it has taken me years to really recognize a jump to really recognize each jump but I've gathered some little tips and tricks to help you recognize every single jump. First things first, I do not think it's absolutely necessary for you to recognize all of the jumps so you can enjoy figure skating. Actually, it can be a little distracting if you focus too much on trying to recognize the jumps. If that makes you happy and that makes you understand a little bit more of what is going on and why some skaters win over others, that's perfectly fine, but just Keep that in mind. And also, I am not trying to discourage you, but this is going to take some practice. So this is going to be the first of a couple of videos and I'm going to do a lot. Uh, and I'm going to do some exercises and a little bit more videos on my Patreon account. So if you want to follow me there, when I post those, uh, I'm going to guide people through that. And also with things that are a little bit more complicated, like combination um, jump sequences and that kind of stuff that is maybe a little bit more advanced so if you want to go further you can go over there i'm going to get those contents up in february so first i would like to go over why telling figure skating jumps apart is so hard just so you know that it's not you it is figure skating if you already knew this, please skip to this timestamp so you can just jump over this explanation. Okay, so the first thing is that look at this Merriam-Webster dictionary illustration. Do you notice the difference between these jumps? Look at them closely. What do you see? Well, here is the thing that jumps in figure skating can only be recognized by the way a skater takes off. So if you try to figure out which jump it is mid-air you're going to end up not guessing because they all look the same in the air unless they are a lefty they might look a little different but they are going to essentially look the same so if you blink sneeze or for any reason get distracted and miss out on the the way the skater takes off then i'm sorry you're not going to be able to recognize a jump and also related to that um Normally, when we see competitions on the TV and on the internet right now, normally what we see are triple and quadruple jumps, which have much, much faster takeoff than a double or a simple jump, uh, a single jump. So normally, when you're a figure skater, you will start with half jumps, then single jumps, then double jumps. So then you kind of start doing it them with your own body and then you start recognizing them at competitions with people who are on your level so that way you kind of learn uh, at, at your own pace but when you start watching this 
amazing skaters doing quadruple jumps. It might be confusing because the takeoff is just so fast. That is so easy to miss it out or to confuse it with something else because the camera angles and the camera operators and the fact that you're not there present to watch figure skating. So normally when you're watching it on the distance, this might happen a lot. Also related to this point is that some figure skaters are lefties, some are righties, and then the other thing is that when you're watching it on TV, the camera angles switch a lot. So if normally on our day-to-day -day life we struggle to say like, oh, this is right and this is the left, imagine if you're constantly changing angles and looking at like in a mirror kind of way, it's hard to take to say like, oh, that's the right inside edge or the left inside edge. Also, the this takeoff might be with different steps, with different arms, like they they all need to be adapted to a skater's figure skating program. So it can happen that maybe you're used to see a, a jump some way, but then you see it another. So that makes it kind of harder and it all becomes very confusing. But don't worry, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks so that you can master this whole thing without, without worrying about the camera angles. Okay, so take a deep breath. I'm going to try to explain this as logically as I can. I have divided the jumps by the ones that are easier to tell apart and the ones that are harder. Actually, the two hardest ones to tell apart I'm going to do in another video so, so that your brain does not explode, please. So let's begin. And our first jump, you might have guessed it already, is the axle. So the easiest jump to tell apart is the axle because it's first the only one that takes off from a forward position and then it's one where you will see the skater kind of kick a, an invisible ball in the air and then just rise up with the jump so that's the easiest way to explain it there you go with that kick and then they just start the jump so here we go this is an edge jump and that means means that it's not assisted by a toe pick. So basically it's the skater being strong and there she goes. She's looking at her shoulder and then she's fully frontal. There you're going to see a kick in the air and then she goes up. That's a double axle. But it can be simple, double, triple, or maybe someday a quad very soon. Here we have an inner bower. It doesn't matter what kind of entry. We're always going to get that kick and then the jump is going to start. So there we go. Inner bower and then the kick and axle. Also, there are other kinds of entries. For example, this spread eagle that we can see it's a it's a trademark for Shoma Uno so there we go he's doing a spread eagle and then kicks and takes off for his triple axle up next are our toe jumps this means that they are assisted jumps so they look kind of similar but here are some tips for you to recognize them without any issues the very first one is the lots so it's a jump that goes backward and the first clue is that you're going to see forward the same arm and the same leg the second hint is that you're going to see the skater tilt this way this is what is going to tell you that it's an outside edge and finally they are going to rotate in the air counterclockwise so it might seem that they're going the other way because of the way their bodies tilt, but in the end they go to the other side. So there you go. Look out for that same arm, same leg forward, and there we go. They rise up in the air. Now, when a skater has a very deep edge, there you go, same arm, same leg, when a skater has a very deep edge, you're even going to see that foot, which normally is the left, but can be right if we're talking about a lefty skater. It's going to be to go into the strangest position before rising up in the air. Look at this 
textbook perfect lots that Paulina is doing. So there we go. Same arm, same leg. And see how her foot just kind of twists weirdly before taking off. That's a very big hint. However, not all of, all of the skaters have a textbook lot, so you're not going to see it in every single one of them. But it's a good hint to look out for if you want to see um, an amazing lot and you want to identify an amazing lot, this is your clue. Now we're going to go over with the flip, which is pretty similar to the lots. However, the edge is not the same. This time it's an inside edge. So here we go. When a skater prepares and is going backwards, they will bring forward the same arm and same leg again. But then you have to notice where they are tilting to. They might be tilting in direction of the of the arch of the foot. There you go. Um, sometimes it's not very, very clear. So you have to look out for where they are tilting to. Because sometimes the edges might not be as clear. Not, not only to you, but uh, the judges as well. This can happen. And that's why, that's the way you're going to recognize a flip. It's very similar to the lots. The only thing that changes is the edge. So you really need to notice where they are tilting to and many many skaters will will enter that position with a three turn so keep that in mind so they might do that same movement that Enzo did and that way you can recognize it now how to recognize a toe loop is still a toe assisted jump so it might kind of look similar but if you pay attention it's really different right now you're going to look for the opposite arm and the opposite leg on the front when a skater is preparing the jump and then they use their toe pick and go up in the air so that's your first clue and the second clue that can help you out a lot is that since this is a position where a skater might land when they do another jump, this is one of the easiest jumps to combine, as well as the loop. So normally, when there's a combination that has a toe jump after that, it's pretty most certainly always going to be the toe loop. There might be very weird exceptions, but normally it's the toe loop. Here, Gabby Delman did a perfectly great toe loop there we go and you look for the opposite arm and the opposite leg and that way you can tell it's a toe loop here she made a toe loop toe loop combination and that's it Well, my have a nice day, friends. Thank you so much for being here, for being with me, for watching this video. Please, if you found it useful, make sure to share it with other figure skating fans, share it on social media. Um, please let me know if you like this video. If you would like more content in English, I would be so honored and happy to share content in English. I know there are a lot of figure skating channels in English. In Spanish, there aren't so many, you know. Everybody has their own style of doing things. So if you like that, if you think that I am a good teacher or of some sort, if you think that I am a good teacher or some sort of guide through this whole mess that is figure skating, well, thank you very much. Please make sure to share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media because I post a lot more in there and I'm taking I really pay attention, pay close attention to the figure skating news. So I normally post more over there because um, I'm just one person taking care of a whole community. So it's kind of hard and Lord knows I try, but sometimes it's just impossible. So if you want, if you have specific questions, please write to me over there. I do reply back. Maybe I take some time, but I do. And I would really like to have you guys there because um, it's a lot easier to communicate uh, in both ways. Because YouTube comments sometimes are just so messy. I hope you found this useful. 
and I'll see you on the next video where we're going to go over Saucal and Loop. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!